This story also has to do with winter and snow because now is a winter month. January is a winter month, so I thought it would be fun to talk about snow. Even though we don't get a lot of snow here in California, um, it, up in the mountains, if you look up in the mountains, sometimes there's snow on the mountains, though, right now because it's winter time. Stella, queen of the snow. This, this book is kind of silly sometimes. Sometimes Stella is telling the truth, and sometimes she's not. Sam had never seen snow. This was his first snowstorm. Isn't it beautiful, Sam? asked Stella. It is very white, said Sam, and it makes me sort of dizzy. Come on, Sam, said Stella. Let's go outside. Is the snow cold, asked Sam. Is it hard and icy? Snow is as cold as vanilla ice cream, answered Stella, and as soft as baby rabbit fur. Do you think what she just told Sam is true? It's true. It's very cold, just like ice cream, and it's very soft when it's falling, at least. Sometimes it hardens once it lands, but when it's falling, it's soft. Can you eat a snowflake, asked Sam. Polar bears do, said Stella. They eat snowflakes for breakfast. <laughs> That's not true. With milk, asked Sam. Yes, said Stella, and sugar. That part's not true either. <laughs> so sometimes she says the, the tr a true thing to him, and sometimes she just makes stuff up. <laughs> Let's make a snowman, Sam, said Stella. Where does a snowman sleep, asked Sam. In a soft, fluffy snowbank, answered Stella. I guess that would be true because that's where it stays the night. What does a snowman eat, asked Sam. Snowballs, sang Stella. Snow peas and snow suits. That's not true. <laughs> they don't need anything because they're not real. Do snowmen eat green snowsuits, asked Sam, because he's wearing a green snowsuit. No, said Stella, they only eat pink ones. <laughs> Are you sure, asked Sam. Let's go skating on the pond, said Stella. Where is the water, asked Sam. The water's frozen, said Stella, like a giant silver popsicle. And that is true. Are the frogs frozen too, asked Sam? No, said Stella. They're sleeping under the ice. It's true too. They're hibernating. Come on, Sam, said Stella. Put on your skates. Not right now, said Sam. I'm listening to the frogs snore. Hey, said Sam. Why is fog coming out of my mouth when it's cold, said Stella. Your words freeze. Every word has a different fog shape, see? That's true. When, it, when you've got warm air coming out of your mouth and it's really cold out there, you can actually see it. I can't read yet, said Sam. Let's build a fort, said Stella. Where does snow come from, asked Sam. Where does snow go in the summer? How many snowflakes are there in a snowball? I don't know, Sam, sighed Stella. Come and help me. Just a minute, said Sam. I'm counting the snowflakes. he would be counting those for a long time. There's lots of them. Let's climb this mountain, said Stella. Why, asked Sam, what for? Then we'll slide down, said Stella. Will we go very fast, asked Sam. Faster than a bird, sang Stella. Faster than an airplane. <laughs> That's not true. Go pretty fast down that thing, but not as fast as an airplane. Will we be able to stop, asked Sam. Stop, said Stella. Who wants to stop? Hop on. <laughs> I think I'll walk down, said Sam. <laughs> I'm 
She's kind of a daredevil. Do dogs get cold, asked Sam. No, said Stella. Dogs wear fur coats. Do birds get goosebumps, asked Sam. No, said Stella. Birds wear snow boots, like mine, asked Sam. Yes, yeah, said Stella, only much smaller. Well, that's not true. Now, dogs do have fur coats. That part's true. But birds don't wear snow boots. So. That part's not true. Let's make snow angels, said Stella, with wide feathery wings. Do snow angels fly, asked Sam. Do snow angels sing? He's got a lot of questions. Of course, said Stella. Can't you hear them? Yes, whispered Sam. <laughs> the end. Cute story. So this story is probably, I mean, this could really happen where a brother and a sister could go out in the snow together and play, right? He asks a lot of questions in the story and sometimes she tells him the right answer, the straight answer, and sometimes she just makes things up. So it's hard to know when she's telling the truth and not. That's why throughout the story I told you what was true and what she just made up. It's kind of a cute one though. Um, the setting is where the story takes place and they're outside in the snow the whole time of the story. So that's the setting. And then the two characters are going to be Sam and Stella. And those are the two main characters of the story. I hope you enjoyed it.